Fjord's Woodshop is sponsored by Minimax and by I Would Like. Check out their products at iwouldlike.com. Okay, so there it is, a homemade hollow core wooden surfboard and I think it looks really good. Now, 
This is just a taste of what's going to be coming in the new year. So next year, I'm actually going to be making these kits. I'm going to be doing full on instructional videos so you can follow along and build your own as well as plans. But as far as a learning process went, this was an excellent project for me. So the funny thing is, I'm not even that good of a surfer. I'm more of a windsurfer and a bit of a paddleboarder, but I really wanted to tackle a project like this because it's something that I'm passionate about. And that's what's really important uh, with this craft that we do. So you have to find something you're passionate about and it just gives the craft a whole new meaning. For those that are interested, the board design is done entirely by myself. So I used BoardCAD, which is a free uh, board design software, I guess you would say, which is really, really uh, versatile, really useful tool to have and quite, um, quite advanced for considering it's free. I then exported that into a 3D model, which I believe was a NURB model. I sliced it up using a software called 123D Make, um, which is a free software again. And then from there, I exported it into a PDF. I then modified those plans to be suitable for wood. So I hollowed it all out, converted it into an SVG, and then I cut it all out using the CNC. So a lot of learning was had to come up to this design point, And I mean hundreds of hours. So um, really happy that I've got it turned out and now all I have to do is get out there and actually see how it performs in the waves. So this is probably going to be the last project of the, uh, at least until December as I'm actually hitting the road with a tour. Um, if you know the ventriloquist Dave Strasman, I'm going to be on the road with him for about a month this November. Uh, and then I'm back in December and I'll be back into this sort of stuff. So it'll be a bit light on videos for the next month or two, but we're getting there. So. Like always, thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you click that subscribe button down below. Leave a thumbs up and leave a comment if you want to as well. It's always good to see. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video.